Hello, today we'll be making a score engine in Scratch. Let's get started. So first, we're going to create a new sprite named score. And we're going to name the first costume 1, and we're going to type the number 1. If we duplicate this costume, then the costume name will automatically change to the next number. So let's duplicate it and we're going to change our number to 2 and repeat the process all the way to 9 now the final number will not be 10 but 0 there we go we're done with the costumes and now we're going to create a new block named show score for inputs number x position Y position and the space between numbers. Make sure to check the run without screen refresh option. Okay, now we're going to define it by first hiding our score sprite and we're going to broadcast a new message named delete score. And now we're going to create a new variable named digit and we're going to set digit to zero and we're going to position our costume to Y position Y and X position to a certain script. We're going to subtract our script from the given X position and the script will be this. The length of our number minus 1 multiplied by the space between numbers divided by 2. Now if we subtract that from the given x position that's our positioning script finished. Now we're going to repeat the length of number times change our digit by 1 and we're going to switch our costume to letter digit of our number and then we're going to create a clone of the score sprite and we're going to change our x position by the space between numbers now when we start as a clone we're going to show our score sprite and when we receive delete score we're going to delete this clone Okay, now that's the score engine finished. I'm going to create a test variable named number to show you guys how it works. So I'm going to set our number variable to zero. And I'm going to repeat forever. Show score. I'm going to set my number to the number variable I just made the x and y both 0 and the space between numbers will be 30 now our score engine properly shows the number variables value now if I change the slider value to a bigger number we can see that it still works fine And we can edit the x and y positions of the score as well, as well as the space between numbers, like that. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!